எல்லாருக்கும் வணக்கம் என் பேர் வைஷ்ணவி நான் ஒரு ஸ்பீச் லாங்குவேஜ் பெத்தாலஜிஸ்ட் அந்தாதி ரீஹாப் சென்னையில இருந்து சோ இந்த வீடியோ வந்து ஸ்டெம் செல் தெரப்பி பத்தி நம்ம கிட்ட ஒரு ரெண்டு கெஸ்ட் ஸ்பீக்கர்ஸ் இருக்காங்க டாக்டர்ஸ் வந்து இருக்காங்க ஸ்டெம் செல் தெரப்பி பத்தி நிறைய பேருக்கு நிறைய கேள்விகள் இருந்துட்டே இருக்கு டைம் டு டைம் அஹ் அந்தாதில வர பேஷன்ஸும் சரி அஹ் வீடியோஸ்ல கமெண்ட்ஸ் பண்றவங்களும் சரி ஸ்டெம் செல் பண்ணலாமா எஃபெக்டிவா இருக்குமா எந்த வயசு குழந்தைக்கு பண்ணலாம் இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய கேள்விகள் இருக்கு சோ அந்த கேள்விகள் கிட்ட டைரக்டா வந்து டாக்டர்ஸ் கிட்டயே வந்து கேட்டு நம்ம தெரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டா ஒரு நல்ல கிளாரிட்டி இருக்கும் அப்படின்றதுக்காக ஒரு கம்பைன்ட் எஃபர்ட்டா நம்ம இப்ப பண்றோம் சோ கெஸ்ட் ஸ்பீக்கர்ஸோட நான் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் கேட்பேன் இந்த வில் பி ஆன்சரிங் ஆஹ் இந்த வீடியோ வந்து பர்டிகுலர்லி வந்து மோஸ்ட்லி இங்கிலீஷ்ல தான் இருக்கும் பட் இந்த வீடியோட இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் பாயிண்டர்ஸ வந்து சம்மரைஸ் பண்ணி நான் தமிழ்ல பேசி இன்னொரு வீடியோ நான் கண்டிப்பா அப்லோட் பண்றேன் பட் இந்த வீடியோ வந்து பிரிடாமினா இங்கிலீஷ்ல தான் இருக்கும் சரிங்களா சோ இப்ப வந்து இருக்க கெஸ்ட் ஸ்பீக்கர்ஸ் பத்தி நான் வந்து இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் பண்ணிடுறேன் சோ நிஹாரிகா மேம் வந்திருக்காங்க அண்ட் சாத்வி மேம் வந்திருக்காங்க சோ நிஹாரிகா மேம் பத்தி சொல்லணும்னா அவங்க வந்து ஒரு கைனகாலஜிஸ்ட் அவங்க திருப்பதியில பிராக்டிஸ் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்காங்க இப்போ அவங்க வந்து ஆன்லைன் எடுத்துட்டு இருக்காங்க அண்ட் தென் வந்து திருப்பதியில வந்து அஹ் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல்லையும் வந்து ஒர்க் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்காங்க ஸ்ரீ பாலாஜி ஹாஸ்பிட்டல்ல சோ ஏன் ஒரு கைனகாலஜிஸ்ட் வந்து இத பத்தி பேசணும் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு உங்களுக்கு ஒரு கேள்வி இருக்கலாம் மேமோட குழந்தையுமே வந்து அஹ் ஆர்டிஸ்டிக் சன் தான் அவங்களுக்கு சோ அவங்க வந்து ஷி கன்சிடர் டேக்கிங் ஸ்டெம்சில் ஃபார் ஹர் ஃபார் ஹர் சன் சோ அதுக்காக அவங்க நிறைய ரீசர்ச் பண்ணி அவங்க நிறைய படிச்சுட்டா படிச்சு தெரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டாங்க சோ ஸ்டெம்சில் பண்ணலாமா ஸ்டெம்சலோட இம்ப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் என்ன இந்த மாதிரி அவங்க நிறைய விஷயங்கள் வந்து நிறைய இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் கேதர் பண்ணி அதுக்கப்புறம் அவங்க ஒரு இன்ஃபார்ம் டெசிஷன் எடுத்தாங்க அதுவும் நம்ம என்னன்னு சொல்லிட்டு கேட்கலாம் சோ அதனால ஒரு பேரண்ட் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் வியூல இருந்தும் சரி ஒரு மெடிக்கல் ப்ராக்டிஷனர் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் வியூல இருந்தும் சரி ஷி வில் ஹாவ் அ லாட் ஆஃப் திங்ஸ் டு புட் ஃபார்வர்ட் சோ அதனால மேமோட இன்புட்ஸ் வந்து ரொம்ப வேல்யூபுல்லா இருக்கும் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு நான் நினைச்சேன் அண்ட் தென் வி ஹாவ் சாத்வி மேம் சோ சாத்வி மேம் இஸ் அ சைக்கியாட்ரிஸ்ட் அவங்க வந்து நிம்ஹான்ஸ்ல வந்து காக்னேச்சர் பிஹேவியர் தெரப்பியும் முடிச்சிருக்காங்க பியூட்டி பிரெயின் பிளிஸ் அப்படின்ற ஒரு சைட் மூலயமா அவங்க நிறைய வந்து அவேர்னஸ் வீடியோஸ் அண்ட் அவேர்னஸ் பிளாக்ஸ் எல்லாம் வந்து அவங்க போஸ்ட் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்காங்க அஹ் எல்லாத்தோட லிங்க்குமே நான் டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ல குடுக்கறேன் சோ நீங்க அது போய் செக் அவுட் பண்ணலாம் பிட் ஆஃப் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் அபவுட் ஆர்டிசம் இஸ் தட் ஆர்டிசம் ஸ்பெக்ட்ரம் டிசார்டர் அஸ் வி கால் இட் இஸ் அ நியூரோ டைவர்ஜின் கண்டிஷன் so neuro meaning uh, the neurons the nervous system the brain uh, how it is structured how it is wired and everything so uh, if the condition is neurodivergent which means a little bit of changes are observed in the way it is wired in the way it is structured and the way uh, it works eventually children with autism spectrum disorder are usually said to have uh, some stereotypical behavior some sensory uh, related uh, integration related issues so all these are traditionally being uh, addressed by uh, occupational therapy speech therapy a combination of these because uh, children under the spectrum usually have a lot of difficulty in social communication maintaining eye contact uh, having a, a social emotional kind of uh, relationship so these are the significant areas that children uh, show difficulty so uh, giving them one on one attention over these specific aspects in uh, speech therapy and occupational therapy will help them in uh, improving their status so, what is stem cell uh, therapy what is the treatment abindra uh, pati you can just uh, detailly explain so you even without medical background might be aware that uh, our entire body is actually originated from a single cell uh, so that single cell leads multiple other single cells which have a potential to grow into different cells see now we have different kinds of tissues in the body we have bones we have heart we have eyes we have nervous system and everything but all this has been originated from a okay so at some point uh, these cells you will give rise to stem cells so stem cells we can consider stem cells as a raw material see uh, for example wood is a raw, a raw material if we have wood we can make chair we can make table we can make doors we can make frames even we can build houses Correct. okay so how processing the wood will determine the um, end product same way how the stem cells are processed in the body what kind of signals they are getting so they usually get different kind of nervous nerves uh, nervous signals and hormonal signals which direct their growth to different outputs so, so 
In a simple term, pencils are raw materials. Pencils can be considered as raw materials from which multiple other systems, multiple other tissues can be originated. And uh, the promise is, that is why stem cell therapy has been very promising in many other things, because these are the kind of cells which can uh, bring about a heart muscle or which can bring about blood cells, which can give rise to some kind of nervous issues. So these have the potential to bring about many other damaged and dysfunctional tissue types in the body. That is why stem cell therapy um, has been promised to work wonders for many there, it is promised. I'm using the okay. word promise just because we are going to discuss uh, yes. whether it is actually uh, what using it in the next questions. How it uh, helps in a uh, speech and language disorder or with uh, respect to a neurodiverse condition like autism? Because for autism is what uh, people are recommending stem cell a lot, right? So we are seeing a lot of advertisements and it's there everywhere. So what happens uh, with respect to autism in uh, stem cells? So how do we get started? What is the procedure? And uh, what are the promising results that you can raise about? See, theoretically, because stem cells have the potential to be, uh, regenerate into different kinds of cells, they are theorizing that uh, because we consider autism to be a um, dysfunctional nervous system problem. Mm -hmm. And we don't know the exact areas yet, but there are multiple possible locations. And uh, theoretically, they are saying that these positive locations have dysfunctional nerve cells. So stem cells should be able to help. This is okay. a theory. The thing is, uh, uh, pertaining to autism, stem cell therapy is still under research. Mm -hmm. So like Sadhbi Garu, what she has told previously, uh, there are few areas which actually have uh, a little uh, disturbances in the brain, if we can call that. And because of that, the communication problem is happening between two nerve cells. Okay, if there is this nerve cell and there is this nerve cell, and both nerve cells are structurally fine. But yeah. the communication between them, the functionality, uh, or we can say synapse between these two cells, there is something called synapse. That is where the problem actually is arising. So, the electric impulses which are going through these are haphazard. Mm. Because of that, actually, this is all only theory. We don't know Correct. what actually is happening in uh, autism because there is not enough research. Correct. Even this stem cell is still under research. Okay. And uh, what who uh, uh, does this stem cell is, uh, stem cell therapy is, uh, developmental pediatrician, they will diagnose whether the kid is having autism or not, or autism spectrum disorder, because this is a very big umbrella. Uh, yes. Then uh, clinical psychologist, uh, child psychiatrist, or uh, regular psychiatrist, anyone, whoever is uh, in this field, they can diagnose autism. And then uh, nobody will actually prescribe to go to stem cell therapy. Okay. Even if you go to a doctor and ask, sir, shall we do this? Then they will give the choice to the parent. Mm -hmm. See, this is the problem. Uh, nobody is uh, writing and giving because this is not an ethical procedure or this is not yet a uh, research-based procedure. This is only a yeah. Yeah, gold standard. Uh, the thing is, it is only under research and in India, it is not yet uh, given as a treatment. It is not approved. Okay. 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 So, it's still uh, under so research. Even if, yes, under research. Even if the parent wants to get it done for benefit of doubt, they will not want any stone unturned when Correct. it comes to the kid. Correct. So, what they do is they go there, they get the procedure done, but there will be a clause and a very big detailed, uh, uh, what to say, a written form informed where consent. they have to sign, informed consent, exactly, where they have to sign it, saying, okay. this is a research, we don't know the outcome. So, it is up to you and uh, the consequences will be faced by you. That is what oh, is written in the form. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, so one pros and cons, everything will be written. Okay. One question. Yeah. So, but uh, any uh, treatment or any procedure under research should not be charged, right? That That is how it works, no? Usually. Yeah. No, actually, India, they have to happen as a clinical trial only. It should not uh -huh. be charged. And they should be compensated for anything. Uh, if anything, any mishap happens during the procedure, they have to be con uh, compensated. Because uh, as a treatment, we are not giving it. 
whatever we are we have we are supposed to do is as a that's not happening over there in the trial right no no no, no it is not happening to be okay. fair what you said when we do dissertation you should be free correct when we do yes. dissertations and all everything we did it for free only all that it will be free yes and, even yeah. i have done research and published papers whatever correct. i did i spent for myself and then uh, we made it uh, the service will be free for the patient that's but here that is not happening yeah that's what yeah. Huh, we should okay. think about that also okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, coming to the procedure exactly what yeah. happens over there is uh, any stem cell uh, it it is like a, there are two types where we can extract a stem cell that is uh, while the baby is born you can take uh, stem cells from the cord blood and preserve it that is one type and another type is when the child is if they don't have the preserved stem cell from the birth they can use stem cells from the body like uh, uh, iliac crest that means the bone from the thigh uh, sorry the bone from the pelvis that from is. there they will extract they will extract a little bit and then they will process that and then they will take stem cells from that bone marrow aspiration to be frank okay, okay. that uh, that will be transferred again to the child right here okay. what happens is uh, if the child uh, like they, they can also take it from a donor okay there are so many there is so many research programs happening over here which is correct which is wrong to be taken from the own child or from some other child or somebody else or anything like that there is no particular evidence which is correct and which is wrong it is still okay. under research only research okay uh, one okay. one person is saying one one thing so we don't know yet to be uh, like uh, to be sure okay so, okay uh, here whatever it is they will take the stem cell and then there are two types of uh, procedures where the stem cell is inserted into the baby what happens is one is iv method that means just like uh, giving saline from the bottle they will have it through iv like drips and there okay. is one ah uh, like drips like drips okay. they will have it from the iv there is one more method which is actually being followed in india in that institute mm -hmm. uh, is uh, intrathecal method that is to the spine okay ah uh, directly to the spine into the cerebrospinal fluid csf directly yes. it will go inside okay ah uh, whenever anything which our target is brain so Correct. if you are giving it uh, through iv there will be a barrier called blood brain barrier Correct. so when it is mixed in the blood sometimes it might reach sometimes it might not reach because okay. it will get filtered a little bit will get filtered at the uh, barrier but when you give it intrathecally it actually reaches the brain because there is a direct connection same with fluid. csf correct same fluid there will be a shunt going on so correct. that method is actually preferable for anything like uh, if you if the target is for brain right. uh, but here the problem what is the problem is the child whomever we are targeting he will be under 10 year old like 10 years child or 5 year 4 year 3 year any but very small child so yes. taking ex extracting uh, uh, stem cells from uh, uh, our bone that will take one anesthesia procedure like the kid should be put under anesthesia, anesthesia and then taken because anesthesia. they will not yeah okay. general anesthesia they will not cooperate for uh, local anesthesia they will Correct. be screaming and jumping around Correct. again after that second day or third day only they will process it and insert it in the uh, blood stream i mean blood stream or uh, intrathecal <laughs> method that okay. again needs anesthesia correct so in one week uh, time there will be two procedures under anesthesia and then again after the procedure they will be under uh, iv fluids because it is a big procedure for such a small child definitely so they need nutrition they need antibiotics to prevent any cross infections so yes this is very tedious procedure but uh, the is it worth or not we will discuss further okay it will take okay. one week or 10 days and it is being costed around 6 to 10 lakhs rupees together okay. it is like together. a package all right yeah 6 to 10 lakhs okay so okay. this is the procedure thank you for explaining it yes. very clearly so, next question would be where in india the procedure can be done actually there are a few institutions which are performing iv procedure which i have explained before like okay. a few in hyderabad there are institutes 
Uh, but uh, only mm -hmm. this intrathecal route and actually very big propaganda is going on. Only institute named is from Bombay. Only that center is doing it in a commercial yes. manner. Like actually they are uh, saying that this can be done for autism. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I personally, for my son, my, my son is also under the spectrum. Uh, out of curiosity or might be I thought I'll give a chance or something like that. I called them up. I booked an appointment. I spoke with the person over there and uh, they connected me and they took uh, like they fixed an appointment and they gave the connection to a developmental pediatrician. Okay. They have a developmental pediatrician and I spoke to madam. What she told me, she assessed him completely again. She completely assessed and they wanted to be sure. And they did that. And this was when he was three and a half years old. Okay. I did that. And then uh, I spoke to her and what she told me is you can come over and we can discuss about this further. Like you can get him admitted and we'll finish off the procedure. It is going to be a little bit push for Gagan so that uh, he can improve a bit better. Perform better. Correct. Okay. okay. So whoever is doing the procedure, uh, developmental pediatrician will assess them first and they also have a clinical psychologist and a psychiatrist in-house they will also do the assessments and they will take a detailed history uh, they have in-house uh, speech therapist and occupation therapist and a behavior therapist so okay. they will all be doing the assessments and the assessments itself will take around two to three days I have not gone there I have only gotten online assessments done and the whole procedure, only the assessments and the giving us a slot will take three to four three to four days. And then the slot will be given, I think, after a week or something. Okay. By that time, we can travel from here to there. Okay. Only in Bombay it is done. So exactly. we go there. Uh, what they do over there is uh, for any medical procedure or any surgery, this is considered as surgery. They will do a pre-anesthetic evaluation. Okay. So an anesthesiologist, he will come, he'll assess the child because they will be doing the uh, this part, anesthetizing the child for two days in a row, right? So what they will do is they'll do a complete physical examination and they will uh, do some uh, basic blood investigations. So blood tests, x-ray, and then a basic uh, physical examination to the child will be done pre-procedure. Okay, okay. Uh, then after anesthesiologist is done, neurosurgeon, they have a neurosurgeon, they will come and they will do the procedure. They will extract and then they will process it and then they will uh, finish it up, insert it, stem cell in the spine. This is the okay. whole procedure. This will take and after this, again, the child will be admitted for two, three days more for IV nutrition. Saline and drips and all should go on for two, three days and then antibiotics will be done. This whole procedure will take one whole week from the day they came and got admitted and then the assessments and then extracting and then giving it again and then again post-op care. All this will go on. After this, what happens is they will uh, set us up with uh, some uh, speech therapist and then uh, occupation therapist and then uh, one behavior therapist okay. for follow-up. Follow. So this is the yeah. team involved and uh, yes. uh, pre-surgery procedures and uh, post-surgery procedures. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. That was a clear explanation.